Pepe. Very fresh. 13th of November. 2019. I had to share this with you because it struck me as something, it's, it's something that we should look at. Let's put it that way. Uh, Trump took time out of his busy day again yesterday to go to New York again to speak before the Economic Club of New York, established in 1907. And I will link all this stuff, but this is a club that has hosted several presidents, but the most noteworthy ones they felt to mention in this article were Woodrow Wilson and John F. Kennedy. Now, if you know anything about the history of the Federal Reserve, Woodrow Wilson was responsible for putting it into law. In fact, he felt as though he had destroyed his country unwittingly. He has unwittingly ruined his country, right? And it was Kennedy who vowed to get rid of it. Executive Order 11110, right? And to splinter the CIA into a thousand pieces. Kind of biblical, huh? Well, Trump was speaking before this very same club yesterday. Because that's what it is. It's a club. The very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and a secret proceedings and some of the things he said you know I'm not gonna play the video I'll definitely link it and we can't forget so many things people remember just what the Rothschild said a couple hundred years ago think about this it doesn't matter who makes the laws as long as they control the money it's game on do you understand and this is what we're watching right now. The, the entire world is just so steeped in debt, it's an impossibility to, to climb out of. There has to be a reset. So you know that the club is planning the reset. They all have to get together. These are all billionaires, you know, who belong to this club. This 116-year-old club or 102-year-old, whatever it is. But, you know, their membership criteria is exactly like the Freemasons, how you're vetted. It's a club, just like it says. It is the club, in fact. He's in front of these people bashing the Federal Reserve. Kind of like what Kennedy did, right? The secret societies and so forth. Well, this is different because Trump is a member of the club. Kennedy was a different breed, okay? That was a whole different time. And you can just, you know, if Poppy Bush was around, he'd tell you all about Kennedy and how they offed him because that's what they did. And this is not something to just scoff at. And the very, very same day he makes this speech yesterday, the Dow Jones goes completely unchanged. Now, when does that happen? When not one single point is added or subtracted from the stock market, the Dow Jones Industrials, in an entire trading day. Only the day that he's talking to the club. So I don't know exactly what all this stuff means, but I do know that it's prompted to me to share it with you because these are the underlying things that are going on that nobody seems to be aware of. And you need to be because this is the linchpin. The money, folks, they pull the plug on the money. People are going to do whatever they are told. They will literally do whatever they're told. Do you understand? There's going to be a solution. You know they're going to come out with a solution, and it'll be for the betterment to make America great again, right? I'm just telling you, folks, this is a big, big, huge ploy. So, as far as your finances go, I only bank what is absolutely necessary. If you have money, like excessive money, like most of us don't, I would not have it in paper. The 401ks and all these things are going to be devastated, and you will be in the hands of these people, because that's who they are. These are the illuminated ones. These are the families, if you know what I mean. The bloodlines, the illuminated. So be aware. You become your own central bank. Even though I hate banks, I hate the whole money system. I hate the whole deal. I can't wait 
for our Savior to come and just wipe it all clean. Praise God, it's coming. We are on the cusp, but be aware. Do what you need to do to be independent of any dependence on these people. Because I guarantee you, first thing they're going to tell you is, we're here to help. This is all you need to do. We'll help you. Either that or each one of us has to pony up $69,000 to cover the $23 trillion debt. It's pathetic, folks, on its face. Just seek Jesus. Keep in the word. Be in prayer. Keep looking up. I had to show you that. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 